Good evening. Welcome to St. Charles Borromeo Seminary. My name is Randy Kraft. I'm a seminarian in third theology studying for the Archdiocese of Philadelphia. God willing, I will be ordained a deacon this upcoming May and a priest in May of 2023. During this season of Advent, Christians across the globe prepare to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Advent is a time to celebrate the arrival of light in the midst of darkness. It is a time of hope as we look forward to our Lord's second coming. This message of hope is what we celebrate here today. We hope that all of you here in person and online via the live stream will enjoy St. Charles Borromeo Seminary's 34th annual Christmas concert. Applause is welcome at the end of each piece. Our theme today is Behold, the King of Kings.
the exhortations to Timothy. But you, men of God, avoid all this. Instead, pursue righteousness, devotion, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. Compete well for the faith. Lay hold of eternal life, to which you were called when you made the noble confession in the presence of many witnesses. I charge you before God, who gives life to all things, and before Christ Jesus, who gave testimony under Pontius Pilate for the noble confession, to keep the commandment without stain or reproach until the appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ, that the blessed and only ruler will make manifest at the proper time the King of kings and Lord of lords, who alone has immortality, who dwells in unapproachable light, and whom no human being has seen or can see. To him be honor and eternal power. Amen.
Due to COVID protocols this year, we were forced to limit the size of the audience for our Christmas concert. As a result, we charged a small fee for tickets to attend the concert. The proceeds from the ticket sales are being donated to a charity of the seminarians' choosing. This year, the seminarians have chosen to support Caring for Friends, which is one of the largest food banks and most comprehensive senior meal delivery programs in the five-county area. On Thursdays during the academic year, seminarians gain hands-on experience working in direct service for those in need. The goal is to develop in the men a heart of service like that of Christ, who was poor himself. This is called the Thursday Apostolate. In 2020, all of the college seminarians served their Thursday Apostolate at Caring for Friends. And this year, more than a dozen seminarians from the Theology Seminary and the Spiritual Year are serving their Thursday Apostolate at Caring for Friends as well. While there, they prepare meals for the organization's more than 28,000 clients, the majority of whom are homebound seniors and veterans. There is no charge, time limit, or age requirement for Caring for Friends services. They will extend their services to anyone who is unable to afford to purchase food. While the majority of their clients are elderly, about a quarter of Caring for Friends clients are individuals under the age of 60 who are homebound due to disabilities and illness. Caring for Friends is dependent on volunteers to meet the challenge of serving all those in need. Ticket sales for today's concerts have generated roughly $2,500 for Caring for Friends. Thank you for all of your generosity.
Well, good evening, everyone. I'm Bishop Timothy Sr., the rector of St. Charles Barmeo Seminary, and it is my joy to welcome you once again, those who are here with us in St. Martin's Chapel and those who have joined us virtually via live stream. Your being with us this evening for this annual, 34th annual concert for Christmas is another expression of your love and support for the seminary, and we are so very, very grateful. A special welcome to the families and friends of our seminarians and students and members of our administration, faculty and staff, the benefactors of the seminary and members of our board of trustees and board committees, all dear friends of St. Charles, and we are so grateful uh, to bring you this concert in person this year as well as virtually. Special thanks to Aileen Kane and Michelle McCann in the Office for External Affairs and Alumni Relations, and to Father Patrick Brady, our Vice Rector, and the other administration, faculty, and staff, who together with our seminarians work together so generously behind the scenes to prepare for this concert, to decorate the chapel so beautifully, to serve as ushers, to work on technology and so many other ways to ensure that we all have a great experience here this evening. A very special thank you to Dr. Nathan Knudsen, the Lucille Francesco Chair of Sacred Music and to the Seminary Choir and Musicians and all other, other seminarians who are participating in various ways this evening. It was a beautiful concert. Thank you so much. You know, I'm sure you all agree that our seminarians are a great source of inspiration and hope for all of us as they represent the future of the church and they are such a great blessing. The theme chosen for the Christmas concert this year, as you know, is Behold the King of Kings, Jesus Christ, whose birth we prepare to celebrate in Advent and whose second coming we await, is the sovereign King of Kings and Lord of Lords. There is so much in our world and in our lives that can be deeply troubling to us in these times. COVID-19 has upended our lives, as we know, and together with so many other challenges swirling around us, it seems we may find it difficult to have hope. The hope and promise of the Advent and Christmas seasons. But our faith enables us to claim a hope that can never be taken from us and which will not disappoint. The hope that we have in Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. We live in the embrace of his love and mercy, and so we can always find hope. Our seminarians aspire to be priests who will lead people to behold the King of Kings, and they strive themselves to grow as disciples of Jesus so that they can fulfill that vocation and, please God, one day reveal in their lives and ministries the transforming presence of Christ in our world. Please pray daily for our seminarians and for an increase in vocations to the priesthood. And once again, thank you for your presence and your interest and your support for the seminary. One final note. We have many wonderful traditions here at St. Charles, as you might imagine. This is the 34th annual Christmas concert. So in 190 years of history, a few traditions have been gathered and we treasure them. One dates just to the early 1970s. On the day after their last final exam each year in December, the seminarians for the Archdiocese of Philadelphia often joined by men of our partner dioceses and religious congregations as well, and some faculty, including myself as the rector in recent years, we spend the entire day visiting several facilities for the elderly in the archdiocese to sing and bring Christmas cheer. For most of those years, the tour has included visits to Holy Family Home with the Little Sisters of the Poor and to Camilla Hall the retirement residence for the Sister Servants of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. The last year we did this, we also began to visit Villa St. Joseph in Derby, the residence for our retired priests in the Archdiocese. Now, because of COVID restrictions, we were not able to do the Christmas tour last year, and we're not able to do it again this year. But I understand that the residence of 
and the Little Sisters of the Poor at Holy Family Home, as well as the sisters at Camilla Hall and some of our priests at the villa may be joining us virtually this evening, or we'll see the recording of this concert in the coming days. And on behalf of the whole seminary community, I want to say to them to extend in a very special way a greeting for the Christmas season. While we hope to be able to resume the Christmas tour next year, we take this opportunity to send our love and a very specially, special wish to you and from all of us here at the seminary with, with the way that we have been ending the Christmas tour in recent years. This greeting, of course, also goes to everyone who are here with us virtually. May God bless and protect all of you and your families always. Blessed Advent days and from all of us here at St. Charles Borromeo Seminary, Merry Christmas. The sun is shining, the grass is green, the orange and palm trees sway. I've never seen such a day in Overbrook, PA. But it's December the 24th, and I'm longing to be up north. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, just like the ones I used to know. The treetops glisten and children listen to hear sleigh bells in the snow. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas with every Christmas card I write. 